Hallelujah. So we want to conclude on the victory keys. And uh, we want to remind you that the essence of the keys is for you to live a victorious life. It's for you to synergize with fellow brothers and sisters to accomplish the counsel of God, the purpose of God. It's for you to represent God effectively anywhere you find yourself. It's for you to enjoy life. It's for you to be able to bring the kingdom of God to anywhere you are. That's why the Bible says the kingdom of God can suffer violence. But the good thing is that there are kingdom keys to ensure that the violence did not take us. But we take the violence and we conquer for Christ. It is the kingdom victory keys that makes us to be able to establish God's cancer wherever we find ourselves. Now look at our test again. Remember our test is Matthew 16, 19. The Bible says, I want to read it in the easy to read version. Easy to read version, Matthew 16. I will give you the keys of God's kingdom. When you speak judgment here on earth, that judgment will be God's judgment. When you promise forgiveness here on earth, that forgiveness will be God's forgiveness. Can you see in you and me? We can't and we should not disappoint God. We can afford to do it. It will be a great disaster. It will be a great loss of investment. God has invested so much power. He has delegated us to this world to represent Him. He has delegated us to take charge. Whatever we can say. say, whatever you do, He said it is God doing it. Can you imagine what a, what what an investment? And that's why we must not fail the investment. I want to conclude by reading another scripture that confirms this. In Job chapter 22, 28, and 29, that would say, if you decide to do something, it will be successful. If you decide to do something, it will be successful. Now, it's not because of just you. It's because you have submitted to the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have made him your Lord and Savior, and you are obeying him, living your life to please him. He said, if you get to that point that you are a good ambassador, you are representing him well. He said, if you decide to do something, it will be successful. Can you see? That's why we call it victory keys. Because he has invested so much in us. You see, and your future will be very bright. When people are brought down and you ask God to help them, he will rescue those who have been humbled. So God has your food. family to, for restoration of the family, for healing for your family. God has put you wherever you walk, wherever you reside, wherever nation you belong to, to represent him, to bring his will. In Ezekiel 22, 30 and 31, he said, I seek for a man that will stand in the gap. That is the will of God. God loved man so much that he gave himself. He does not want man to perish. And that's why you must preach the gospel. And we want to say thank you for being part of this. The Lord bless you. And may we not fail God. Because God will never fail us. The Lord bless you. We'll see you.